How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Martin with Bellevue Auto Spa. <clears throat> Today's video, uh, as you can tell by the title, I've got the, in this box, the uh, cordless rotary polisher from SPTA. So if you follow my channel, um, you already know where this is going if you have it. Um, I've got a lot of SPTA polishers, uh, the cordless ones. I've got the original uh, mini cordless. I've got the uh, version 2 mini cordless. I've got the version 2 of the 15mm um, dual action, and then I've got the force rotation. Uh, these have all been seeing a lot of use. They've been great so far. I've got no complaints about them. Uh, but I wanted to get a rotary, so I had the full cordless uh, allotment up here. Uh, those are all my Max Shine polishers. They're all corded. Max Shine is great, um, but they haven't gotten into cordless polishers other than the minis. And I strongly suspect their mini, because they just came out with the mini version too, is borrowed from SPTA's design. They're both Chinese companies that might be working together. Um, SPTA could be the manufacturer of most of the parts for all I know. Max Shine could be licensing. I don't know. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Let's get to this unboxing video. So, um, first things first here, we've got our, this is before the main box. They stuff this in the box. They give you a crap load of accessories, guys. And if you buy the 15 millimeter or the force rotation, it comes with pretty much the same stuff. Um, and then the little minis come with some stuff as well. Uh, you'll have to check out my videos on those and I'll put links to the descriptions of these on Amazon if you're interested in purchasing. Also check out down below, I've got discount links to a lot of major detailing sites. Uh, some great savings there. Helps you out, helps the channel out. Uh, so if you wanna buy some stuff, go ahead. Um, Anyways, so they give you some five inch pads, which I've got so many sets of these from buying those that I've got even more now. Um, the pads are actually pretty decent. They're not terrible. Uh, they give you a cutting pad, a polishing pad, and a uh, finishing and waxing pad. Uh, then they also give me four inch pads, which I found interesting. Uh, I don't have any four inch pads or four inch backing plate. Um, they also give you a four inch backing plate with it. So. That's pretty cool already. Uh, four inch backing plate, get into some four inch pads. Um, I've only got three inch, five inch, six inch. I don't have four inch. Then uh, they also give you, and just keep in mind, in this kit, they give you everything you need to get started in paint correction. It's not the best stuff, um, but it'll, it'll definitely get you by. Uh, polishing compound, heavy cut and polishing compound, final finish. So a cutting compound and a finishing compound. Um, little eight ounce size, that'll get you do a few cars. Uh, pretty good. Now we're going to pull out the main thing here. This is the box. You recognize our branding. I did a whole brand review on them. All their boxes look like this. They're black with the orange on it. Uh, Carlos, if you're watching this, it's like they're thinking of you, bro. <laughs> uh, you got an instruction manual. Um, exploded view, all that good stuff. So pretty cool there. And then they give you a carrying case. So this is my third carrying case from them. Um, if you haven't seen what it looks like already, go ahead and open it up and show you. This, this is a pretty nice carrying case, honestly. It's got, it's hard on the bottom, and that's it. It's nothing special, but you know, you can open it up, you can put your polisher in it. Got some pockets on the inside, shoulder strap. It's pretty nice. Um, I don't use these for anything. I'm just gonna set it aside with the other ones. I think I even got one from Max Shine. And then uh, you've got an apron. Again, if you wanna wear an apron, keep your clothes clean. I just wear t-shirts normally when I'm detailing, so not to worry about it. It's a pretty low quality apron, um, but you know it's got their branding on it. It's got some pockets to store some stuff if you like wearing aprons when you're detailing. Um, also keep your clothing off the car. All right, so let's get this machine up and out of here. So they give you a mitt, <laughs> like I guess a microfiber wash mitt, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about washing a car with this, but I mean, I'm sure it would work. So there you go. Uh, they give you some microfiber towels. These are just pretty uh, standard kind of waffle diamond type towels. Um, Probably be good on glass, but you got those as well. Wipe off some polish. They give you some wool pads as well. You get a uh, five inch or three inch wool pad. 
I'm glad finally because they gave me these type of flat wool pads with the other polishers. And on dual action machines, these don't work so well, but these work great on, on rotary. Uh, if you have a dual action you're using a foam pad, or excuse me, you've you got a dual action you're using a wool pad, it's got to have a foam interface. Otherwise, the wool just gets bunched up. Doesn't work that great. Got a side handle, pad cleaning brush. This is probably a battery. So you get two 4 amp hour batteries, just like with the other two. So I've got six, six of these batteries total now. And I have been told, it's been confirmed by others, that these are the same batteries that uh, Makita uses. Same, they fit. And uh, what's interesting here, let me show you the different generations of batteries over the years. This is our first iteration. Um, red lights. The stickers weren't the greatest quality. Okay, then our second iteration, which is on the, came with the force rotation. This should come with all of them now. Green lights. And um, sticker is a lot better quality. And now, it's green lights, but it also has this little thing down here, in case you didn't know which, which means full and which doesn't. And then it's a little red power light. So that's interesting. And what's cool is this came fully charged. Uh, this did ship from in the US though, so I don't know if these are going to somewhere in the United States now to a warehouse and then getting packaged there or what. Uh, I also give you a charger, so this is my third charger now. And the batteries for these chargers just slides on like that. It's got a little what you know uh, key on here telling you what means what. Basically, red uh, means charging, green means it's charged. That's it. <clears throat> Another four amp hour battery. So if you stick with SPTA for the cordless tools, you're gonna get a lot of batteries. You're never going to buy batteries. They do sell the batteries on their website. They don't sell the batteries on Amazon. Um, but if you want to order their batteries, you can order them. They do come directly from China, and they're going to take a while, and probably going to pay a good amount of shipping. Um, I think they suggest ordering some other stuff if you're going to do that. But here is the uh, main polisher. So this is a rotary. Smells brand new. Smell the oil and such. So it's interesting. They went a little bit more ventilated on the sides of this one than they had done in the past. Um, let's get a battery on there. These batteries are tight fit. Probably get worn in over time, but you can see there uh, the speeds and the RPMs. It's actually not too loud. So let me show you the sound of this compared to the force rotation and the uh, dual action. I'm gonna put them all in their highest speeds. So this is rotary. It is soft start, which is nice. This is the gear driven. Noticeably louder. This is a dual action, which I have changed the grease in. It's still loud, so rotary is a lot quieter because it doesn't have those gears in there. Well, it has gears, but it doesn't have like the counterweight and all that. Um, so just interesting to know. So I was thinking of changing the grease on here. Oh, what's cool is it looks like this has a little button underneath. See right there? So you can kind of. Oh yeah, so you can screw this in. It locks the spindle. It's a little spindle lock button, otherwise this will, yeah. That's cool. Um, you can see, if you're holding that button in, it won't spin. Pretty nice. So, pretty good machine overall. I'm thinking of how to take this apart, but it doesn't look like they make it that simple. So, I'm probably not gonna be changing the grease on this anytime soon. Um, but anyways, if you wanna put the handle in, you just take these off of the screwdriver. Uh, when you just screw the handle into the side, and that way you can hold it like this. Uh, I do sometimes find that handy with rotary, not always, uh, but everyone's got their methods. Um, let's get a up close, closer look at it now that we've got it unboxed. All right, so we're a little closer in now, so uh, you can see, show you 
on these two. These two, uh, the dual action and the gear driven, basically use the same shell design. Um, I mean, pretty much the shells are completely identical. A little bit different colored rubber, but the only thing that's different is the shroud that holds on the, the pad with all the gears and everything. It's all the same. But then when you come up to this one, this one's lighter as well. You can see it's all different. I change it a lot of it. Down here it's still the same, but this, this upper part, uh, different. They went with a different design. So I wonder if we'll see those designs implemented on their, these other ones. Possibly. But let's, uh, let's get over to our test panel. We're going to test this thing out. Um, I just want to get a feel for it. I actually have a car coming tomorrow. It is a newer car, so I'm probably just going to use this with a light polishing pad. I just want to see how it does. Now this one's speed one is pretty low, which is good because when you're doing final polishing with the rotary, having a lower speed is better, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, we're going to get over to the uh, test panel. We're going to test this out. So we're here at the good old test panel. You see there, put some 3000 grit sanding marks into the panel right there. So we're going to see if we can get them out which I'm sure we can. Um, what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the SPTA wool pad. I've never actually used it before, so I don't know how aggressive it is. Um, we're gonna use the uh, DIY detail, gold standard polish. So all we need is one spray on here. I can get this in, in frame. Always it's a lower spray, I swear to God with this stuff. <laughs> Not a big deal though. I was trying to get it in frame. So let's see if this can get this out. Now, because this spin is so slow, I'm probably gonna turn the speed up a little bit, um, but we're gonna see how it does. Yeah, it does bog down as expected. You know, it's cordless, doesn't have the same power as corded, so. Speed two is pretty good, doesn't really bog down much. really applying any pressure because it just makes rotaries harder to control and makes them create more holograms especially when you're cutting. See how that did. Well, this battery does say it has a full charge. Um, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna put another battery on it that I know I charge myself. See if there's any difference in the amount of power it's making. Sounds said about the same, maybe a little bit more, but let's go ahead and wipe this off, see if we got those sanding marks removed. We've got the wolf pack towels from the rag company right here. This thing's great. And yeah, we still got the sanding marks in there. So I am gonna grab a Lake Country wool pad and we're gonna try that. All right, so here we've got a Lake Country uh, purple foam wool. This does have a medium to high cut depending on the paint. Uh, does cause a little haze, so you notice with the SPTA padded, we didn't cause any haze or holograms that I can notice. Um, here, just so you guys know, there is still residue from the uh, polish, but there's no holograms that I'm noticing. That's just the wiping pattern from the polish because there's still residue on there. Uh, now, you use a heavier cutting pad on a rotary like this, you're likely going to get holograms. Uh, you're going to have to finish it out. Uh, but it seemed like the uh, SPTA wool pad is more for polishing, not for heavy cutting. So we're going to step it up the Slate Country pad for some heavy cutting. 
Let's get this done. I'm on speed like two and a half. Seems like a good speed for this. still see some marks here and I honestly think it's just because I use it's a low quality sandpaper it's like some crap I grabbed from Amazon um, panel's not too hot I'm gonna make one more pass over it to get those out I'm not going to fight it. Those don't want to seem to come out 100% without something more aggressive. Um, but we'll save that for a different video. Anyways, the majority of it is gone. Let me go ahead and wipe off the polish and I'll show you. Some panel prep spray. Make sure to get all that residue off. Pro Racer, love this stuff. Still super easy. Trying to get all this polish residue off. All right, right up at my inspection line. There it is. Still got residue on the side, but whatever. Um, anyways, if you look here, that actually did a good job without really creating any uh, haze. So that's surprising. This polisher, I guess, is just a little bit easier to control than your average corded. But we still got some some of the deeper scratches created by that crappy sandpaper in there. We got a majority of it out. So I'm going to go to the uh, final polishing stage next. Uh, throw the, uh, I'm going to throw a Rupes polishing pad on here. And um, we'll just go over that. And then we'll go the, for the final thoughts of the video. All right, so we got the Rupes. Um, this is their new uh, waffle rotary polishing pad. Or their fine pad, I guess they call it. Uh, the waffle design really helps with polishing on a rotary. Um, because it's not in it's got little pockets in here to help keep things cool It makes it easier to control which reduces your likelihood of uh, causing holograms. So DIY detail has a pad like this as well 
Uh, they sent me the six inch version. I prefer using the five inch. Um, but you can get it from either of them. They both work good. So let's get this started. Um, in my opinion, this doesn't need a polishing pass, but just, just for the sake of showing you guys how it works, just for demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the video. Hey, I didn't get any overspray that time. Hallelujah. Super simple, super easy, and this time I'll completely clean off the panel uh, so we can see the final result. So let's do that. Let's get this cleaned off. And it's not that this stuff's normally hard to wipe off. I don't know what it is about this panel. Maybe because I've used it so much, I've used it so much, polished it so much. It likes to hold on to everything, even water. If I try to dry this thing, it's it's just it's a pain to dry, it's a pain to do any, anything on it, really. But that's probably because I've gone through so much of the clear coat already. There's not much left. I honestly don't know how much there is left. Once there's no clear coat left, this is going to the dump, and I'll get something else. All right, moment of truth. We still got some residue up there in the corner, whatever. Well, look at the section we polished right here. There's no holograms from the polisher. Still a little residue here and there from the freaking polish that this panel just doesn't want to release, but whatever. I'll do that off camera. I'm not too worried about that right now, but look at the section we polished. There's no holograms there, so it's definitely a good machine. You can get good results. Um, just hopefully you don't have a pain in the butt test panel like I do. So I'm gonna have to clean this off. I swear I have to like wash it off with soap or rinseless wash or something to get it completely clean. Well, that's just this paint. Your average paint's usually fine. Let's go into the final thoughts. All right, so the SPTA cordless rotary polisher. It's a great value. I think I paid like $170 for this off Amazon. I'll put a link to it. Um, compared to this rotary, or excuse me, wow, this force rotation gear driven is like 300 bucks, and this uh, dual action was like 200 something, 250. Incredible value. Uh, however, keep in mind this is a rotary polisher. This isn't exactly for beginners. Now, if you want to begin learning on a rotary and you feel like you can do it, go right ahead. Um, I am still, I consider myself experienced, like new experience with a rotary. I'm not uh, like, you know, highly experienced or super pro of the rotary I'm, I'm still learning myself um but i'm comfortable enough where i can use this on cars um but of course you know you gotta you gotta practice with these things uh, but it's a pretty nice machine overall it doesn't seem like it's too user friendly as far as disassembling it um i'm sure you can disassemble it i just don't feel like figuring that out right now um but you get two two batteries a charger a bunch of pads other random miscellaneous accessories uh, with the machine for 170 bucks, you can't go wrong with that. 
Um, I was just looking at things today. You look at the DeWalt. If you want a DeWalt with one battery, that's like $450. Not saying anything against DeWalt. DeWalt's a really good company. Um, but the value is definitely here with this machine, and it's going to do a good job. It is a little low powered on the lower the lower speeds, but you just turn up the speed to what you find acceptable, and it'll get the job done. Uh, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, let me know if you think what. Let me know what you think of the SPTA uh, cordless tool line. I think it's an incredible value. I don't think it's the best out there, but I do think the value is good, and I think that it's acceptable for both personal and professional use. Uh, it's going to get the job done. Do what you need to do. Um, but if you do did enjoy this video, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Most of you are not. Check out the description below for links and discount codes for various websites. If you're plan planning on making, oh my god, if you're planning on making a large purchase with detailing products, gotta say that slow. I get all tongue twisted. <laughs> um, check out check out those links below. It saves yourself some money. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, guys. That's all I got for you. I'll see you all in the next video. Keep them clean. Have a good one.